हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल स्टे ट्यून टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी एन ग्रेड नाइन बी हाइफ यूनिट फाइव इन दैट पोएम फाइव अ लेजेंड ऑफ नॉर्थलैंड सो लेजेंड यू मीन बाय अ लेजेंड लेजेंड इज अ ओल्ड स्टोरी ऑफ अन नरेटेड टू चिल्ड्रन and this poem is in the form of a ballad ballad is a song narrating a story in short stanzas ballads are part of folk culture in popular uh, places and uh, a legend of northland is also a ballad now coming to northland northland refers to the regions in polar north polar area that is uh, where always it is snowy so you can take greenland uh, then some countries like finland norway and russia siberia all this comes under northland so they didn't specify any particular country they have just given northland so this poem is a legend of an old woman who angered saint peter because of her greed so this poem goes like this so in northland uh, there uh, days are very smaller and nights are longer so the people cannot sleep all through the night because uh, the night is very very lengthy so the people feel that they are sleeping for a longer time and they can see the reindeer pulling the sledge and the children playing and they look exactly like bear cubs in their funny furry clothes so since it is so cold that children wear furry clothes and they look like bear cubs and now there is a curious story going on in that area curious story means the story which the poet is unable to believe he thinks that it is not true partially i don't believe it is true and yet uh, you can learn a lesson from this story so here the story goes once there lived a good saint peter he uh, walked about in the world preaching preaching means teaching good things so he came down to a cottage and all the time he was traveling and uh, you know that in olden days they travel by walk so he was quite tired so he could uh, uh, smell the baking of cakes inside a cottage so he stood outside and asked the little woman to give him a single cake because he was fasting and he felt too fainty and he wanted to have something but now this lady was a very greedy lady so she uh, tried to make another cake that looked even bigger so again she needed the uh, flour and uh, started making cake in a hearth h e a r t h hearth means in olden days they didn't have o- oven for baking cakes they used to bake cakes inside a uh i mean uh, what do you say firewood uh oven so now the woman was so greedy that she was uh, remaking cakes because each time she was uh, ready to go give to that uh, saint it looked bigger so she said that each time i am making the cake for me it looks smaller when i am giving to somebody else it looks so big so now she made a very small cake that look like a wafer you know wafer something uh, you can say chips so it look like a wafer and now that also she didn't want to give to the uh, saint so now the saint grew so angry that uh, he cursed the women you know that he was already hungry and about to faint so he was he became very very 
angry so you know people who are hungry they become angry very quickly so uh, he cursed the woman to become a bird uh, as she was very very selfish she should become a bird and she should not get proper food and she had to bore and bore each dry woods to hunt for food now very quietly this woman went through the chimney and never spoke a word she was wearing a scarlet cap on her head scarlet you know it is a dark red color and when she came out of the chimney her body changed black so now she became a bird which was none other than a woodpecker now each school boy in that area knew this story and what is the moral of this story that you should be generous you should not be selfish or very greedy so with that we come to the end of this poem this poem is written by phoebe carey